This is a head-to-head -head matchup. Moe's Southwest Grill. Burrito from there. And burrito from Chipotle. They both will have essentially the same toppings. Be it white cilantro rice, pinto beans, chicken, cheese, lettuce, sour cream, salsa, Southwest vinaigrette on the Moe's burrito. Green salsa, green tomatillo salsa from Chipotle. It's going to be a head to head matchup. Chipotle burrito is seven is seven seventy five with four taxes and not including extra for the guacamole. Guacamole is an extra two dollars fifteen cent. Moe's eight ninety nine. It comes with, you can get guac on it and you can also get queso, which doesn't, which doesn't have an extra fee for it. On Mondays at Moe's, you can get the burrito, chips, and a drink for $6.99. Normally, the burrito will be $8.99. Chipotle has no such deals, but it's going to be a head-to-head -head comparison in terms of taste and value. Let's see, it's a good size burrito for Moe's. Oops. Good size burrito for Moe's. Oh, what, what happened? Did I leak the sauce out or the burrito's leaking itself? <laughs> and Chipotle. And Chipotle. Good size burrito from Chipotle. We're gonna go ahead and get into this review. Iceberg Jim. Back at y'all with another one. Head to head matchup. Moe's chicken burrito versus Chipotle chicken burrito. I gave y'all the information a little bit earlier. It's time to go in and take a bite. I'm gonna undo the Moe's one first. You can see the vinaigrette kind of seeping through the burrito. Let's just go ahead, go in for it. The finger has a strong flavor to it. The guac essentially tastes like plain avocado. Doesn't really have any kind of season to it. The lettuce is kind of stringy. Like the lettuce was heated up with the burrito itself. Doesn't have any kind of crunch to it. That's what the chicken looks like. It has a decent flavor to it. Okay, I think I, I think a little hint, hint of cheese. I would say this is better than a convenience store burrito, as in sheets of Wawa. Especially for the price on a Monday. But I'm not sure that I would say it's better than a Qdoba or anything of that nature. And Qdoba comes with all of the and included for a similar price. So let me go ahead and put this Moe's burrito down. 
if you just close that. Time to crank, crack open the Chipotle burrito. Burrito, you see a little grease or what have you from the oils in this, but it's not sloppy or anything of that nature. Chipotle seem to taste fresher, if you will, if, if that's a thing. And I mean, in terms of tomatoes and the lettuce, the lettuce, the lettuce still has a crunch to it in a Chipotle burrito. Corn is soggy. Corn is a little soggy in the mold burrito. The guacamole is better. More flavorful. It'll make for a good dip. But the guac isn't as good as a Qdoba. I prefer the Qdoba's guac, to be honest. But this is a head to head between Moe's and Chipotle. Chicken. Good flavor. Tastes like it's been on the grill. Not just flavorful, but you can get a little smokiness from sort of, you know, the smokiness and the flavor from the grill. When the meat starts to caramelize a little bit, when it gets a little bit dark and a little, you know, a little cooked in the grill marks. Has that flavor to it. So, in terms of taste and presentation, Chipotle has a better taste and presentation overall. Moe's, not so much. Moe's is a good deal on a Monday, but for possibly perhaps about a dollar or so more, I get a better quality Moe's at Qdoba. But on Monday, we have a $6.99 price. We get the chips and the drink. It's a good deal, and it's better than convenience store burrito. At least the ones I've been to in terms of Wawa and Sheets. Now, guac costs extra at Chipotle, so that is a, that is a negative. But if you don't need the guac and you get a straight-up burrito, I go to Chipotle. Because you still pay the same price even if you don't get the guac and the queso. And you just want to... Standard fare, Tex-Mex, American cuisine burrito, American-inspired Mexican food burrito thing going on. You can get it for seven seventy-five at Chipotle, and that's enough, and it can still fill in. And you really don't have to have those extra flavors. So, hands down, Chipotle is the winner in terms of the price, especially if you can do without the guacamole and the queso. And over the years, Chipotle has won serving it up without it, and people buy it for that for that good price. Only time I'll go to Moe's will be on a Monday. Where I get the, I get the free drink, a good price, and oh, and Moe's and Moe's does always come with the chips. And salsa, so I can't knock it. And maybe without the Southwest vinaigrette on the Mose, it wouldn't be as soggy. But it, it that vinaigrette is overpowering. It stands out quite well. At the end of the day, 
Yeah, no, I switched hands on the burrito. This is Mo's to Chipotle. Go with Chipotle. Most days a week, six out of seven days. Six days out of seven days of the week, go with Chipotle. On Mondays, go ahead, check out Mo's. Save a couple dollars. Add a little guac to it. Add some queso to it. Get your free chips and salsa as you can any day. But also get a drink as well. So that's the head, the head comparison. Moe's versus Chipotle. Chipotle versus Moe's. That's how I feel about it. That's my verdict. That's the review. Chipotle's the champ. Qdoba. I mean, Moe's, not so much. And I wouldn't even say it's better than Qdoba. Not just based off memory. But it's better than A. Hey, better than convenience store burritos. Iceberg Jim out. Deuces.